If Professor Dumbledore were still around, he surely would have stopped by Drew's campus as Druids channeled their inner witches and wizards to compete in the school's first ever Quidditch tournament. Diane Yee is the director of campus recreation at Drew, and she says bringing the game made famous by the Harry Potter book and movie series was a natural fit for Drew's campus. We have intramural volleyball and indoor soccer, but no real um, unique sport such as Quidditch. So it was really great to bring in the one day tournament here to Drew. Up. Up. Well, clearly this is not a standard Nimbus 2000 and this game, well, it's pretty much complete chaos. But that's not stopping these Drew University students tonight. While many were excited at the mere opportunity to play the game, others came ready to compete. People were shoving each other around, but especially uh, if you were fit, you could, you could get, a, get ahead of the other lesser houses. It was a lot like Ultimate Frisbee, Speedball, stuff like that. Before the match, Yi told competitors that unlike the movie, flying was not allowed. But despite that restriction, she says she was very pleased with the student response. We had four full teams, so all the houses were represented, and we have a lot of fan support, as you saw um, in the footage earlier. So it was a great turnout. In the championship game, it was Harry Potter's original house, Gryffindor, versus their arch nemesis, Slytherin. After a fierce battle, Slytherin caught the golden snitch for the win. The winning team celebrated. We're all about being ambitious. We're all about creatively bending the rules. So we, we were chosen for this team. We, we lived up to it. Yi says she hopes to make the Quidditch tournament a mainstay at Drew. And maybe then, Gryffindor can get some revenge for the good guys. For Drew University. Okay. Wait. I'm Ted Johnson. <laughs> <laughs>